Ain't that a beaut? Oh yeah. Remove those guts. There we go. Have a trash bag ready to go. Because then when you scoop your goop, you can offload it. Nice and clean. No more little seeds. Time to draw a face. Now you can paint it, but Sharpie is so easy. And now underneath the face, draw a little circle right here. Grab a drill. We're just gonna tilt this down. X marks the spot. There we go, perfect. And now for the insides. This is so easy, everyone. Boil some water. So while that water's boiling, we're gonna add some pumpkin spice chips to a pot, along with some sweetened condensed milk. Goop that all out of here. And you just wanna start mixing. This happens so fast, it's almost completely melted. So now I have some instant coffee I'm gonna add to the boiling water. I just eyeball as somebody who makes coffee every day. Oh wow, I bet you could smell this from here. Just give this a good mix. All right, and now I'm gonna add our pumpkin spice concoction in here. And I'll give this a mix. And the color here will depend on how strong you like your coffee. Next, you'll need an oven bag. These are food safe bags. All right, we're almost done here, guys. Put the bag inside the pumpkin and gently fold this over. Make sure it's pressed down and to the sides. Now this is the most fun part. Look at that expression. It's about to get better. This is for a pitcher. And what we're gonna do is poke this right through. Fits perfect. Once you have a good fit, you can take it out. You wanna poke the bag through the hole and snip a hole. Now put the bag around like this and you can send this back through. Now here is my beautiful coffee fully melted. Those pumpkin spice chips are fully melted now. They really don't need a lot of time and they will fully integrate in the end. Now I like to take one ladle at a time. That is the no mess method. Pour that in. To avoid big problems, make sure this is off. Now I like to use the oven bags because then you don't get those pumpkin guts in here. And if you want to save some for later, you easily can. Once you get to the top here, I'm gonna seal it off with a rubber band. Then add the top back on. Now, if you create a ridge, you will always know where it fits in place. So that was easy to do. I got these cute cups from Walmart. Now we have a pumpkin pitcher. I just love this. And I love how this looks like the mouth. So now this is so easy, so fun. This is kid proof. And now we have my coffee here. I like to offer some whipped cream and top with pumpkin pie spice. I think cinnamon sugar would also taste really nice. Oh yeah, look at that. I am obsessed. Now option to follow my recipe for the pumpkin spice coffee, or if you have your own pumpkin spice latte in mind, feel free to do that one as well. Now, if you wanna keep it simple, you can just add some of this to some coffee and add that in there as well. I love this so much. Cheers, everyone. It's all over my face, I know it. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a great spooky season. And one last tip, everyone. I'm cleaning up now, so you wanna get rid of the bag, rinse out your pumpkin, and this can double as a decoration until the next time that you use this for a picture. Hope you love it.